Hi everyone, this is Paul Lang from Discipline Trading Strategies with this week's Play of the Week video for the week ending 11-12-2017. The stock was CAG and the date was 11-7. This strategy was based on a daily DTS buy setup with an entry on a one minute DTS buy setup with a little twist to it. It was actually one of my favorite entries and the reason I chose this play on this particular morning. Management was simple and reward to risk 2.4 to 1. You know, I get a lot of emails and I've been asked a question recently more than a couple times why I choose the symbols I do for the play of the week videos. I only do two to four trades a day. I only do a handful of strategies, only three or four strategies as a rule, really two to three on a regular basis. They all have a different twist to them and a different look to them. And I like to capture some educational charts that have a little different twist to each of the strategies that I do. The question I want to know if I simply pick the most profitable play every week, and the answer is no, that's not the criteria. Sometimes it may be the most profitable, sometimes that makes it my favorite, either consciously or subconsciously, but that's not the criteria for picking it. For example, this week, the most profitable one was with this stock, VYGR, but it was based on a novice gap. And two of the last four Trade of the Week videos, I have actually done a novice gap example, so I didn't want to do this again. It's unusual because I don't do a lot of novice gaps. We happen to have three recently that were just really nice, but I didn't want to do this because it was just discussed. But this was the most profitable this week. The stock CAG was actually just my favorite, favorite strategy. It's just based on clean, simple, technical concepts. It involves coming to the market prepared with a handful of symbols because this trade occurred the first minute of the day. Now, I don't like to be a quick or fast trader. I like to hold things for a while, but sometimes things just happen and the best entry occurs right at the open, like this one did. This particular symbol I found by scanning through some daily charts. They take about 25 minutes every night or in the morning to go through and prepare a handful of stocks based on looking at all my daily chart watch lists and looking at some hourly charts. This daily chart in the bottom left there had a nice sideways tradable action with a major support area and a wide range bar decline into that area. That to me is a good setup, but I wanted to come take a look at the intraday chart. So taking a look at the 60 minute chart, I saw that the decline to the area on the evening of the 16th, keep in mind the hourly chart has two days after the trade to show you what it did. But on the evening of the 16th, it closed with a nice decline into that area, tried to bounce and then fell again. That left a nice little low on the daily chart there. And the hourly chart left that nice little hump in it. And the concept was to play the hourly transition coming off of a major support area on the daily chart. Just a great play. Well, the next morning you have to see what happens. So that opening right there that morning on the 60 minute chart, we're going to go down to the one minute chart now. That opening was right there just so you're clear where we are. And instead of taking it over that hump at like 33.45 or so, the stock went lower initially. Now, most people will look at this as a breakdown below the daily chart if they're not experienced at the market. I look at this as a shakeout and I took the entry coming off of that bottoming tail, just pennies off the low, entry 33.36, stop 33.19, looking for it to retrace back into that daily chart sideways pattern. As it rallied, it had such a strong initial rally that as it topped out there going into the 10 o'clock reversal time, I took a first target at 33.64. Any clean rally into a reversal time is always a target area on an intraday play like this. I started to trail very conservatively, but the stock just never gave up and it continued to run all the way up to that high, which really was the target area because that became a significant area off to the left and it accelerated into that and I trailed as it started to fall off of that high, 33.89. So overall, very nice play, $1,200 in under two hours. And again, I'm not hung up on the time. Would have held this all day. That was the plan. It just really ran to a nice target initially. And notice that holding it longer, if you would have gone back to the 60 minute chart, the next day it followed through all the way to the top of the daily base. Could have been a two day hold, which is really the setup that could have been used. The DTS trading room, this play was done right there live for everybody and this is not your typical room you can read the slide here but if you're interested in joining us just go to the website at disciplinetradingstrategies.com and click on the services tab you can read about whatever i have to offer there take your time no hurry and maybe sometime i'll see you in the dts trading room until then this is paul lang good trading everybody